The bill provides for these unemployment checks to be delivered through the existing state unemployment systems, not us, state. And I was opposed to this method because many of the states have very antiquated computer systems that are 45 years old, and they're not prepared to handle this kind of distribution, this kind of money coming in so quickly. They're not set up for that. And uh, I didn't want to do it, but our opponents wanted it. So we did it. And if they don't get their money fast, I'm going to ask that we convene the federal government, that we come back to Congress, and we'll do something where we take care of it, because we can take care of it very easily and quickly. And I said that. But a lot of these systems are so old and so antiquated at the state level that they're going to have the money. They're going to get the money very quickly, but they're not going to be able to distribute it. So remember what I said. Number eight, we will finally complete the biometric entry exit visa tracking system, which we need desperately. For years, Congress has required biometric entry exit visa tracking systems. In my administration, we will ensure that this system is in place. And I will tell you, it will be on land, it will be on sea, it will be in air. We will have a proper tracking system. Okay, so if you forgot your ticket to a, a game, a soccer game in Argentina, it's not a problem because you can use the microchip that's been embedded under your skin. To one day accept what the Bible's book of Revelation calls the mark of the beast. This fall, Northside joined a handful of districts that use what's called radio frequency identification technology, or RFID for short. Northside is piloting the program at its Anson Jones Middle School and John Jay High School. How it works, students must wear badges on lanyards around their necks. The tags contain tiny batteries that emit radio waves. RFID scanners embedded in the ceiling then read the badges and identify a student's location. In Privacy Watch today, the world's largest biometric ID system that tracks more than a billion people and has been hacked several times. Some experts suggest caution among the concerns ID theft, health, and whether the chips can be tracked by GPS. Most people don't really understand how this technology works, what data is collected, how it's stored, or who might be able to get access to it legally or illegally. No darkness can overshadow the eternal light. No darkness can overshadow the eternal light.